The first three reports listed in the content section all show the same information, but each report organizes it differently. The top content report lists each page that received traffic. The content by title report groups your pages according to the title tag. You can click on a title to see the pages that share that title. The content drill down report groups pages according to the directory. You can click on a directory to see the pages in the directory. Pages in your content reports are represented by their request URIs, which is the part of the URL after the domain name, so a forward slash represents your home page. When you create your profile, you should specify the name of your home page as the default page. That way, instead of having forward slash show up in your reports, you'll see your home page URI instead. The top landing pages report lists all of the pages through which people entered your site. You can use this report to monitor the number of bounces and the bounce rate for each landing page. Bounce rate is a good indicator of landing page relevance and effectiveness. You can lower bounce rates by tailoring each landing page to its associated ads and referral links. The more relevant the page, the less likely a visitor will be to bounce. Navigation analysis reports can help you understand how people move through your site. The reports are listed on the content overview page. They're also available from a pull-down menu when you drill down to a page detail report. The first of these, Navigation Summary, can help you see how people arrived at a specific page and where they went afterwards. Here's the Navigation Summary report. Percent Entrances shows how frequently the page was a landing page. Percent Previous Pages shows how frequently visitors came to the page after viewing another page on the site. Percent Exits shows how frequently visits ended on this page. Percent Next Pages shows how frequently visitors continued on to another page on this site. The list of pages that were viewed immediately before the page is shown in the left column. The list of pages that were viewed immediately after the page is shown in the right column. Sometimes the previous page, the next page, and the page you are analyzing are all the same page. This can be caused by visitors hitting the refresh button multiple times and generating self-referring hits. It can also be caused, for example, if the page has graphics that the visitor can click to enlarge. Here's what happens. The visitor views the page and Google Analytics registers a page view. Then the visitor clicks on a graphic and views the enlarged graphic file. This does not result in a page view because the enlarged graphic file doesn't have the Google Analytics tracking code. The visitor then clicks the back button, which registers another page view. If there are many images on the page, it's possible that the visitor will click on each graphic. This scenario will cause the previous, current, and next page to all be identical. The Entrance Paths report is a powerful tool for analyzing navigation paths. For example, let's say that you want to find out whether people clicked the Purchase button on your landing page and actually completed the purchase. To find out, go to the top landing pages report and click the landing page you want to analyze. Once you are on the Content Detail report for the page, click the Entrance Paths link as shown in the slide. You'll now see the Entrance Paths report for your landing page. In the middle column, you'll see all the possible clicks people made on the page. Choose the link that represents the purchase page. In the right-hand column, you'll now see all the pages visitors went to after the purchase page. By looking at this list, you'll be able to see how many visits ended up on the purchase completion page. This report can show you if the landing page is doing the job you designed it for. You can use the Analyze drop-down menu to view additional reports, such as entrance sources and entrance keywords. The Content drop-down menu allows you to select or search for specific pages to analyze.